एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू वी एफ एक्स वाई वंस अगेन सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ आर ऑन गोइंग सीरीज व्हिच इज न्यू थ्री जीरो वन सो टुडे विल बी द लास्ट एपिसोड एंड ट्रस्ट मी दिस इज नॉट द एंड ऑफ कंपोजिटिंग यू कैन डू ऑल द ब्यूटिफिकेशन वर्क एज पर योर एक्सपीरियंस बट दिस विल लेट यू नो हाउ टू प्रोसीड फर्दर फॉर मोर ब्यूटिफिकेशन the more time you will give to your composition the more better it will be so without wasting any time let's jump to screen okay so as you can see over here last day we did till here but in this particular file what i'm feeling that the brightness level of our character is too much so first thing first i need to identify from where it is coming right so if i'm going to see from here it's looking fine to me it's looking fine to me i am getting my all the extra brightness from this node which is grayed and if i'm going to look i have added more scratches and grunges over here so in particular this setup i am getting this amount of white values which is leading our brightness right so what i need to do i need to fix this so there are few things which i can do probably i can reduce the noise size but i am not going to reduce noise size i am going to do it in a different way so let me make some space and here i am going to take another noise hit tab type noise in this particular noise i am going to again connect my reformat node because i want it to be as our texture is which is square 2k and here i am going to do few more things like i am going to take a grade node and in that particular grade node only i am going to affect alpha and this kind of stuff will be my alpha and again i am going to take a grade node over here and i am going to connect it with my this grade and in this particular grid i am going to use rgba and i am going to do this so what will happen by doing this i am cutting my previous alpha with new alpha and ultimately what will happen if i am going to see it will automatically create some kind of randomness as you can see over here this is before and this is after can you see that the variation so if i want i can reduce it completely like this so by adding this technique i am currently controlling my brightness of my character so if i am going to see it can you see that so i am controlling this i am i am cutting this i am cutting this if you want to control it in a better way you can work with your size so what will happen it will automatically it will start cutting few areas over here so it will be up to you so hope this is pretty okay to everyone now my second thing what i want to do if you remember in my previous videos i have talked about uh, this thing this particular character is standing on this uh, wooden log so it should be behind this wooden log so to fix it there is a pretty basic setup so what i'm going to do over here in my this thing my particular uh, scan plate what i i am going to do i am going to take a roto node and i am going to create a roto shape around it like this it should be precise so i am using it precisely okay so after that what you have to do either you can animate it manually but i am not going to do that i am going to show you a pretty basic tricks so that you can uh, save your rotoscopy time so i am going to take a node called tracker it will be a 2d tracker and i'm going to connect it right and over here in tracker i'm going to pick this particular point to track this point and let me reduce it and after that i'm going to track forward i'll come back once this is done okay so my tracking has been done and i can see my tracking is going pretty fine with my motion so just double click on it go to transform and it should be match move and set to current frame right and make sure your current frame is frame number first otherwise it will create some problem and after that go to tracker and just you can use it directly or you can extract your transform data and if you are going to connect your roto shape with your transform and if you are going to play it 
your roto shape will move along with my tracker right so this will save your time of doing rotoscopy and after doing that let's go down over here and i'm going to take my main scan plate over here and probably i'll connect with it and i'm going to do this right so i'm going to cut it or mask it so i'll have my wooden log separately over here and let's connect or let's merge our this data on top of my final com so what will happen automatically your shadow and your character will be behind your wooden log right so if you want you can add some softness to your roto shape or if you think it's working fine it will be fine right apart from that what i'm seeing i'm not having a good amount of data over here because if you are going to see any humanly character most of the time the contact point will be his or her eyes right so in this case this character's contact point is this but this is not looking pretty nice it's looking dull so there are two ways to do that first you need to go to your maya or max or whatever 3d application you're using and you can play with texture and you can render your emission pass separately and you can comp over here but in my case i don't have that much time to re-render my emission pass again and come back over here so second option is inside nuke you can fix it right there are multiple ways to fix it in nuke you can do roto or you can tweak it but i'm going to let you know a better way to fix it and hopefully this will be a new for you, right? So I'm going over here and I'm going to bring texture of that particular area, right? Okay, so I have texture of that particular area and I'm going to use this texture to fulfill our requirement. Before proceeding further, I will recommend you to collect some references. It will help you to understand the process in a better way, right? In my case, I have arranged multiple references like uh, I have this, I have this, can you see that? So if you are going to collect references, it will be better for you to understand the process. So multiple references I have. Can you see that? I have this reference as well. I have this, this reference as well. I have reference as well. So I have multiple references. So I will definitely recommend to do that first. Collect multiple references as much as you can and then proceed further for your work, right? By the way, I'm using pure ref for collecting references. It's free. Just go and you can type pure ref in Google and you'll get this software for referencing purposes as well, right? Okay. Now for this, I will be needing my setup, texture setup. So I'm going to copy it and paste it over here. And let me make some space for my new setup. And probably I'm going to do this. And let's do that. So if I'm going to directly connect my texture to my mesh, so what will happen? Let me show it to you. So it's not coming the way I want, right? So to fix it, I have a node called UV tile. I'm going to connect it. And now if I'm going to connect it, I'm getting it in a better way, but it's not looking that good, right? So to enhance it, I'm going to use light, which will be a point light like this and just go to 3D and over here, you can arrange your 3D data like this. So probably I will, it's not necessary, but I'm feeling that this way is a better way, right? And probably I can increase intensity to three or four. And if I'm going to see it, can you see it's getting darker? But if I'm going to increase intensity, now I'm getting good result, right? Like this. And apart from this, you can anytime connect your grade and you can start grading that stuff. So after that, let's add it. I'm going to take a merge node and I'm going to merge it in a plus mode, right? Let's plus it. So as you can see, now I'm having good detail, but multiple things are coming. So how to fix it? It's pretty simple. I'm going to take a, a roto shape node and in roto shape node, I'm going to target this simple. Let's animate it. It won't take time. So after fixing it, what I have to do, just merge, take a merge node 
and I'm going to mask it. So once I'll, I'll mask it, what will happen? I'm getting only this data. Okay, as you can see, it's coming pretty fine, right? But ages are not coming the way I want, right? So how to fix it? To fix it, just go to scanline render and in entilizing, probably you can use medium and it will fix. Basically, this is the uh, entilizing problem. And if you think that this is coming pretty bright, so there are two ways to fix it. You can go over here in point light and probably you can reduce the light like this. And also you can take a grade node over here before UV tile and you can start tweaking your things as well like this. Okay, right. So now it's coming pretty nice, but I want to make it little more crispier or more prominent. So what I can do, I can take a dot node over here and I can take a glow as well, right? Connect it and I'm going to use effect only. Probably I'll increase the size and little brightness as well. And on top of my original one, I'm going to screen it or plus it depending upon your requirement. I'm going to screen it. And if I'm going to see my final output, obvious it won't make sense. So I'm going to reduce my mix over here. Not that much, not here, probably here, right? Very little. If I want, I can increase the spread as well. But now you can see by doing only this much, I am having a better result, right? So if you think, no, this is again too bright. You have two controls to fix it. You can come over here in your light and probably you can fix it or you can go to this grid and you can fix it as well, right? So this technique, you can go ahead and you can do multiple things. If you want, you can use emission shader inside Nuke and you can make emission pass, separate emission pass as well. Already I have made that video. I'll recommend go and check. Apart from that, I want to do few more things like I want to add some environmental haze kind of stuff. So I found a very better way to use it. Like I can go over here and I can use a keyer and in keyer, I'm going to extract my luminance value like this and probably I'll do this and I can take a node called pre-mult. I'll connect over here and I can use a blur node, right? And in blur node, I'll blur like 100 or 200 or 300 probably. And I'm going to merge it on top of my final comp like this. And I'm going to reduce the blend. So you can easily see now the environment is coming on top of my character as well. And now it's blending little better, right? Okay, I am feeling that my overall character's brightness is too much. So what I can do, I can go over here before this thing and I can take a grade node and probably in grade node, I will reduce my gain to 0.9. And definitely it will give me a better result. So these are the multiple things which we can do to enhance our compositing. As I said, this is not the end. You can do more experiment. You can give more time to your composition and it will slowly will be a very good composition or good artwork, right? Okay, few more things you can do. I can add a little light trap to my character what light trap is basically environment light is bleeding on your edges where the bright values are right so there is a node in nuke which we call it a light trap so in light trap we have two inputs like b and a b will be for background a will be for foreground so in this case i have my background so i'm going to connect my b over here and i'm going to connect my a with my foreground, which will be my character. So I'm going to arrange my file as well. So let's connect it. And if I'm going to see through my light wrap, nothing is visible because in light wrap, we have to change few things like I'm going to see generate wrap only. Nothing is visible. If you are going to increase your intensity, now you're going to see it, right? So with this default value, I'm going to connect my this light wrap to my original footage and if you can see I'm getting my environment light on top of my character and if I'm going to see through it of course it's looking pretty weird so I'm going to control it 
to control it we have two options like you can control intensity or you can control spread right so it's all up to you how you are going to control it so i am going to load on my intensity and also i am going to control my spread very little i'm going to use it also i'm going to control my mix right pretty subtle i'm going to use it so something like this i'm going to use it and if i'm going to see my final output it's looking pretty fine to me right okay so i think this is end for today's video and this is end for our ongoing series nuke 301 and i hope you have learned multiple things by watching all videos of this series so i hope this will be very fruitful to you and if you think that this is very fruitful to you please don't forget to like this video share this video and if you're new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe with this said this is wfxy signing off have a good day